King News, my wonderful people. Serious anxiety as a Mefili misses Buhari's deadline to return to the to return to Nigeria to the office as CBN governor. Remain abroad pursuing asylum. So President Muhammad Buhari, you know, President Muhammad Buhari has um, given an ultimatum for Mefili to return, which was January the 9th. My dear, January 9th came and left. Emefeli did not return because we know that um, Buhari apparently who seemed to be in agreement with Emefeli for them to begin, you know, the implementation of a new, uh, the re, they used the new redesign money, uh, seemed to have left the guy, you know, in the deep ocean by himself. So a lot has happened within that parameters and um, Emefeli knows that the cabal are after him. And so he has gone now. And as we can see, things are quite different. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details with all that is currently ongoing. Anxiety as a Mefili misses Buhari's deadline to return to office as CBN governor remain abroad pursuing asylum. <laughs> not be smart in the apple, no, Nigeria. Not be smart, you know. You go there surprise, you go there wonder, say, what did they go on for this country? Well, it may fairly don't, uh, don't touch the tiger's teeth. People, they vest. Money where we stockpile. You can't wake up one morning, say, well, say, you won't you change Naira B. <laughs> you never see anything. Let's get it all. Godwin Emefeli, CBN governor, has reportedly failed to resume official duties after after his approved vacation period. People Glazier can confirm. This is as the Apex Bank governor has concluded plans to seek asylum in the United Kingdom over developing threats to his position and personal safety from the states from the state security services. However, People Glazier does not know when he's, when he's filling his asylum application, but he's already on it and the matter is ongoing. Mr. Mefeli had in December received personal approval to proceed on vacation until January the 9th. Sources, however, told the Glazier that the Apex Bank chief, who was billed to resume work today, had not showed up as of noon on Monday and that he is not on his way back to the country at all. The tension surrounding his, his much-anticipated return borders around the uncertainty that, is, that has evolved in the economy, especially the capital market. According to the source, the bank chief is still shorting between the UK and the United States of America. The situation is still not very comf comfortable for him, per a uh, source familiar with the matter has given details. Mr. Emefeli, who has been forced to remain abroad due to plots to implicate him as a financial terrorist, has been weighing his option there. People familiar with his schedule said the CBN governor departed Nigeria between 9th December and 10th and then made an ap 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 appearance to President Muhammad Buhari and well will publish trip to Washington DC that has end that took place till December the 17th. Sources says that Mr. Imefeli would be willing to return to Nigeria if the president could protect, could give protection from state from the state security services. However, President Muhammad Buhari has failed to do so. Allegations have felt that the covered police source had been backing of Mr. Emefili, of high-ranking government officials who have launched an attack on the CBN governor. However, Justice John of the Federal High Court on the 13th 20th of December 2022 declined an, author an authorization to arrest for an arrest warrant on the CBN governor to be taken into custody. This matter has continued to trail as Nigerians can see that the cabal are seriously after Godwin Emefili. So this is what is happening right now, my people. Unless something happened drastically, Godwin Emefili may not be able to truly, sincerely uh, return to the country unless Buhari takes on and give and give him, you know, some some comfort to say, "Don't worry, it it is okay." Up until now, 
President Muhammad Buhari seemed to be playing a double game, if you ask me. Buhari has the will. He can say to he can say to um, to the SSS, leave this guy alone. Buhari has failed to do that. Yet he wants the guy to return, and he knows all the circumstances surrounding the guy. So there is so much going on in this regards and this in this route. There is so much going on. Godwin Emefeli seem to be, you know, seem to be losing it like, you know, there is like no order because of the whole situation surrounding him and the whole um, new money and everything. And before he went on, apparently he had a discussion with President Muhammad Buhari, but we all know what's going on in that regard. Buhari seemed to have left, left him in the deep ends. Buhari seemed to have left him in the deep end. So there is there is so much that we need to know. Gordon Emefeli apparently now is seeking asylum, you know, um, abroad, you know, trying to let other nations know that he, he does not feel safe because Nigerian government, uh, you know, this cabal rather, not, not the government, are on him, you know, and he has been implicated in all forms of words trying to say that he did this, he did that. You know, and all matters are kind of, you know, really on ground. So there is, there are serious matters ongoing in all of this. There are serious matters ongoing. You know, Gordon Emefeli had to leave his home, flee and, you know, ascond. So whether you like it or not, there is, there is serious call for concern. The man does not feel safe in his own country. Now, we're not saying Gordon Emefeli is a saint. Don't get it wrong. No, that's not the point we're making. We're letting you know how things roll in Nigeria. When he was appointed and he was doing their bidding, you know, he was their friend. When he was covering for all the all the uh, money being transferred to these people, that he was their friend. But today, it's a different ball game altogether, you know. But since he can no longer, you know, he can no longer uh, speak. We can, you know, he can no longer do their bidding. We all know what's going on in those corridors in those regards, you know. We all know what's going on. Well, Nigerians, it is high time that every single person begin to understand what's going on in this country. It is high time we begin to understand it and know exactly what's going on. You know, Gordon Emefeli now has seemed to have, is on the wrong side. And the people who he seemed to have uh, touched, on the, touched ground on the wrong side and the people are seriously after him. So unless we seriously arise and ensure that things do not remain the same way, there will, there may be serious call for concern. Yeah, the guy may just have himself to blame. The guy may just have himself seriously to blame. So it is what it is. It is what it is, you know. So we just have to rise up and ensure that these things do not continue in the same way, in the same vein. Every single one of us must do what is right, what is necessary to ensure that at the end of the day, Nigeria becomes a better place, not just for one, but for all. Every single one of us needs to begin to ensure that we know who we have as leaders. Because these people you see, you don't understand them. You don't know. Most of them are really, you know, just looking out for themselves. And because God in Emefeli has taken out the old Naira, which some of them have stockpiled, you know, things are, you know, things are really, for them, it's not looking good at all. And they cannot understand why this man has done what he has done. And so they have to deal with him. Bottom line. So these are some of the things which are happening now. Bye for now.